everyone, it's Courtney. I do all things pregnancy, motherhood, and lifestyle all on a budget on this channel. So if you like those types of videos, make sure you give this one a thumbs up and that you are subscribed. This is another video in my baby on a budget series. If you haven't seen the other videos, I will have that link down below. Basically, I've just been sharing with you different ways on how to save money when having a baby. Today, we're gonna be going over newborn must-haves, specifically items that are worth saving money on and things that are worth splurging on. So let's go ahead and get into it. So just a little disclaimer, when I say splurge, I don't necessarily mean it's super expensive. It just means it might be something that you don't necessarily need, but I think it's worth splurging on and getting when you are having a baby. And along with that, when I say save, it doesn't necessarily mean secondhand. It just means that you don't necessarily have to get the most expensive brand or the most expensive option in that category. My savings list is a lot longer than my splurge list, so let's go ahead and start with savings. The first one is a car seat. All car seats have to pass like safety standard tests, so it really doesn't matter what price point you hit on that. All of the car seats are gonna be safe for your baby. But I will say there are a lot of car seats out there that have a lot of cool features and I would just do your research, figure out which one is best suited for your lifestyle. Another item to save on is a bassinet. Usually a baby only sleeps in a bassinet for a short period of time. So spending a ton of money on a super fancy one is just not necessary. So if you want something that is new, I would just highly recommend getting one that's compatible with your bed size as well as your needs or just get something secondhand. The third one is a crib. There are so many cribs out there from like $80 up to like $1,000. So there are a lot of different price points. But I personally think you could easily just save a lot of money by just getting one from like Ikea. Ours for our daughter is about $100, including the mattress. And this is something you could also get used. I wouldn't recommend getting a mattress used, but definitely just the crib itself. The next thing to save on is a baby monitor. There are so many baby monitors on the market, it's insane. So I felt really overwhelmed when I had to pick one out for my daughter and I'm so glad that we went with a super basic one because it covers all the needs that we have when it comes to a baby monitor without the huge price tag. So again, there's a lot of different price points when it comes to a baby monitor and I would just highly suggest doing research on what works best for your lifestyle also try and save some money on this item. The next one is a high chair. There are so many different high chair styles out there and I would just recommend getting the most simple and basic one. Your baby is literally gonna be sitting in it for maybe 10 minutes just to get their food down as quickly as possible so they can go play. So you really don't need all the bells and whistles when it comes to a high chair. Again, I personally have one that was $20 from Ikea and our daughter absolutely loved it and we plan on using it with our second one as well. The next item to save on is a swing or a bouncer if you prefer that. We got the Mamaru and our daughter ended up hating it. So luckily we got it secondhand so we didn't pay full price but it was still super expensive. So each baby is different. You're not going to know if they're going to love the swing, if they're going to love the Mamaru or a bouncer. So I would just highly recommend getting that secondhand, especially before the baby comes, just to test out when they are here and they are at home. You can figure out what they actually like and not be totally bummed if they end up not liking something that you paid so much money on. The next one is a play mat. There are so many play mats, like little activity gyms that you can get on Amazon that are very, very pricey and also very, very affordable. So in my opinion, if it gets the job done where they can safely do tummy time and it has some sensory toys on it, then that's all that really matters. So I would recommend not necessarily getting it secondhand, but at least looking at the lower budget ones because all of those ones that have all the bright colors and bells and whistles really are what your baby's into. They may not be aesthetically pleasing, as the cute little like wood ones but at the end of the day there's no point in spending a lot of money on something that your baby's gonna again not be using a ton of and when they are using it they're gonna prefer all of those like cheesy tacky colors and toys and bells and whistles the next item to save on is a diaper bag I think that having a diaper bag that is worth tons of money is just not worth it diaper bags are gonna have poopy diapers in them have clothes that have spit up all over them. And essentially your diaper bag is just gonna become an area of stains and smelly, nasty stuff. So spending a lot of money on something that you wanna keep nice is just not really smart in my opinion. But that doesn't mean you can't have a super fashionable 
diaper bag as well. If you've heard of Fawn Designs, they have very nice diaper bags and I actually found a dupe for that that I plan on getting on my registry this time around. That's only $50, so it's a quarter of the price. So I still get the style that I want, but I don't have to worry about damaging something that's $200 because of a poopy diaper I have to throw into my bag when I'm out and about. The next item to save on is a tub. There are so many different types of tubs to wash your baby in from when they come home from the hospital up until they are able to sit up on their own. And I personally didn't even have a tub for our daughter. We just used the sink and it was fine. So realistically, we didn't even use a tub. So that's why I think you should save some money there. There are a lot of affordable options that are super basic and get the job done. There's no point in spending an arm and a leg to again, bathe your baby for a short period of time. The next one is to save money on clothes. There is no reason to spend a ton of money by buying everything brand new. Babies grow so incredibly fast that you're probably not even gonna have a chance to put them in all of the baby clothes that you do get. So I would just highly recommend getting a getting all of your clothes secondhand and just maybe a few pieces here and there that are new. And I do touch on this in another video as well where most of the time family and friends are gonna gift you clothes anyways. The next item to save money on is books. I would just highly recommend going to Goodwill or your second local secondhand store and getting just used books because babies and toddlers, they like to touch sticky things and then they'll touch books. They like to rip books up and it just doesn't really make sense to spend a lot of money on nice books because they're gonna get dirty and they're gonna get ripped up. And the last thing to save some money on is your sound machine. There are so many high-tech fancy sound machines that have all of these different features that you honestly just don't really need. But overall, just try and find one that's super simple and has like a base model and just does the basic necessities so you can save some money to put towards things that you actually need to spend more money on. Now we're gonna go over the splurge category. The first one is a stroller. I learned this the hard way. I went super cheap my first pregnancy and we got a stroller that we are going to have to retire. And because of that, we have to get another stroller for this pregnancy. Another reason we have to as well is because we need a double stroller and I wish I would have thought of that going into my first pregnancy so we weren't spending even more money getting a second stroller this time around. And along with that, I think a stroller is something that you're gonna be using every day for well past their first year of life. So get something that's good quality and that's really gonna hold up for your lifestyle so you don't end up spending more money down the road trying to replace the cheap ones that you keep on getting. The next item to splurge on is a carrier. This kind of goes along with the stroller and I just think having your hands free is something that you really can't put a price on. So having a carrier of any sort is just super important. It doesn't necessarily have to be the fanciest and the most expensive one, but just make sure you get one, even if you think you don't need one, because for me, I'm gonna have a toddler this time around, and having my hands free to just take care of her is going to be so important. So I, again, I would just highly recommend splurging a little bit and getting yourself a carrier. The next item I would recommend splurging on is swaddles. I know the hospital gives you like basic blankets to swaddle them up in, but if you've never swaddled a baby, spending a little bit extra money to get the Velcro ones or just any kind of like fancy zipper one, there's so many different kinds out there that serve different purposes throughout your baby's newborn to first year needs. And some of them are super affordable and some of them are on the pricier side. So again, I'm going to just start out with one and I'm going to figure out if my baby likes it and then if she does, cool, we'll get the next size up the bigger she gets. If not, I have some others on my registry that I'm gonna test out. So your newborn's gonna wanna be swaddled, so just make that as easy as possible for you, whether that is getting the Velcro or just getting some nice ones to wrap them up in. So this time around, I am definitely splurging on a recliner slash rocker. My first pregnancy, I did not use one at all, and I just felt really uncomfortable sitting in our couch like trying to get up and out of it after giving birth was just a nightmare so this time around i swore that i was going to let myself get a recliner it didn't have to be a fancy one i'm probably going to just get a super cheap one or one like off buy sell trade page but yes i just think that it's so important to have comfort especially after giving birth and just having something that rocks 
really does help put your baby to sleep and just calm them as well. And especially if you're nursing too, it's just the perfect setup. So again, I would just highly recommend getting a recliner or a rocker of some sort. The next item I would splurge on is toys, specifically the Montessori style toys. These ones are a little bit more expensive because they are learning toys and they're usually made out of wood, but I think they are truly worth the money because it's something that your baby can grow with and they're going to last you a long time and they're serving a benefit other than ones that just light up and they can just gnaw on for like two seconds and get bored with. So I would just highly recommend investing in some good quality toys. The next splurge is a nursing pillow. If it's your first time breastfeeding, it can be really hard and awkward to get the positions correct. So having a nursing pillow really truly does make a difference. So I would highly recommend looking into getting one of those if you plan on breastfeeding. The next thing I would splurge on is anything postpartum. This includes clothes postpartum, underwear, getting like those diapers, instead of the ones that they give you at the hospital. Just basically anything that's gonna make your life easier and relieve your pain and symptoms after having a baby is worth the money. Just make sure that you're investing in yourself and making sure you're taking care of yourself after having a baby, no matter what the cost is. Another thing worth splurging on is anything that documents your baby's life, especially milestones. So that coming home outfit, newborn photo shoots, or any little props for those newborn photo shoots. Just anything that is a once in a lifetime documentation moment is worth investing in. I'm not saying you have to spend a ton of money on it, but I'm just saying that it is worth spending some money for those special moments. So overall, I would say anything that makes your life and your day-to-day -day easier is worth the splurge, especially when you have a newborn, you're sleep deprived, and anything that's gonna make that a little bit easier is super key and super important and I think is totally worth buying. But along with that, make sure you're not spending a ton of money on things that you could easily save on by either getting used or getting the cheaper model. So that is my list of items to save on and items worth splurging on. If you have anything that you'd like to add to either of these lists, make sure you comment those down below. I would love to know. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and that you are subscribed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.